Manchester United 2, Arsenal 3. DJ, talk to me. Uh, uh, how are you taking the loss? Ah, uh, man, you know, there's a lot of things that we could have done a little bit better today. Um, I knew it was going to be a cagey game and it kind of did pan out that way. Um, you know, and I also knew Arsenal were going to have more of the ball than being at home and the way they're set up and stuff. Um, I think we managed to do, you know, first half, we managed to do what we needed to do. Um, we went a goal up, brilliant goal from Rashford. Party had to sit down after that. Um, but then we just let them into the game a bit too quickly. We should have then been able to, you know, control the game, control the football, you know, make some more passes and just keep possession. You know what I mean? But we didn't do that and Arsenal came straight back into the game. Second half, um, you know, what can I say? Like, it, it just went downhill from then. You know, the players looked leggy, especially Ericsson. Was really thinking maybe Ericsson would have come off, you know, maybe for fresh legs, maybe for Fred. That change wasn't made. That direct change wasn't made. But, um, you know, I think Arsenal were just a little bit more fitter than us, more energy, um, and they were as aggressive as us, but we just couldn't keep up. Couldn't keep up. Rashford's goal, obviously, top goal. Then they equalised, went into the half. I think everyone was kind of optimistic. I think I was optimistic, you were optimistic, Hayley was optimistic. How do you think the second half went in terms of when once United came out? Do you think Arsenal just wanted it more? They were more hungry? See, this is the thing, like, us sitting here watching it, I knew that once that half was over, the first half was over, Arsenal were going to come flying out. If you know Mikel Arteta, he's a very tenacious individual, so he's going to demand his players to attack, attack, attack. But that's what we should be doing, you know? We came to the Emirates and we played some good stuff, but I just didn't see enough cutting edge. Um, the players did try, you know, I, I can't fault any of the players. They ran themselves into the ground today, but we just needed to be a bit more aggressive after the half. The first half was long gone. 1-1, cool, the game restarts in the second half. So you need to set down a marker and we just didn't do that. You mentioned, obviously, Christian Eriksen. How, how do you think his, his performance went today? Eriksen does some nice stuff in the middle of the park, but it's like he just runs on kind of like, he's just got a battery and his battery always sort of depletes around the 50, 60th minute. And he just couldn't cover the ground, like in terms of the legs, he just couldn't cover the ground. He's not the most super mobile player. Um, he doesn't cover ground quickly and he's it's not really that good in the tackle. He's just there more for his creativity and his deep line playmaking and his passing, which, you know, he did some of that today. But I just think, you know, I just wanted Ten Hag to maybe adapt with the game a little quicker. Arsenal adapted, you know, they took off players were on yellow cards. And I thought that was really good from their manager. For us, I wanted to see us maybe go from strength to strength, you know, change things up. You know, me and you, we spoke um, just when we was off air. And, you know, if Ten Hag wanted to go for the draw, make it obvious. You've got a defender on, on the bench. Tell everyone to sit behind the ball. And that was that, but we just didn't do that. It was weird. We was caught in some weird, like, mid, mid tactical situation. It was just weird. Obviously, Veghorst started again. Mm -hmm. Full 90 for him. Anthony Martial, I think, is out, out injured. What do you think of Veghorst's performance? Do you think the criticism is kind of warranted that he's receiving for his second game in the United shirt? No, I thought he played very well today. I, he did because he was up against Salabar and Gabriel and they're probably, if not as tall as him. So it was literally two on one all game and he did amazing. He brought a lot of our players in, nice little one twos and flicks, holding the ball up. I just think that he lacks the quality in being able to sometimes change it and maybe turn, turn on once he receives the ball, turn and run into space. He's not that type of player. He's just a player that you can feed it into, bounce it off of him and then you can get your wide players, i.e. Rashford, Anthony, into the spaces behind, left by the defenders that are tracking him. Um, I think he played well today. Um, you kind of get what you bought when it comes to Veghorst. You know, he's on loan. Um, you know, there are better players out there. There are better centre forwards out there, higher level, higher calibre. But for his game today, I thought he played well. We conceded a last minute goal against Palace for the equaliser midweek. And then we conceded another last minute goal today. What do you think about Ten Hag's reluctancy to make changes at, at the right time? Do you think it's, it's warranted? Do you think it's understandable? Well, one common theme I see from the Palace game to this game is that players are getting tired. Um, you know, it's been well documented about our squad. It's not that deep. And you can kind of see it today on the bench. We had a lot of academy players, you know, Kobe Maino, you had Garnacho, who's probably the only player that has some senior um, experience. Um, but the rest on the bench, apart from Harry Maguire, who's the one defender we had, the rest, kids, you know, like a lot of people will make, you know, a lot of the substitutions and he should have subbed this player and subbed this player. But... Reality is Fred was the only realistic person you could really put in there to make a difference in the game. Garnacho, 
what would you have done? Taken off maybe Verkhorst, but you need Verkhorst because Arsenal are pressuring us. We need that long ball route. So, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, really. But um, <laughs> yeah, we don't really have much on the bench. Last one, Anthony. How, what would you make of his performance? He was the first player to get hooked today. Do you think it was good performance, bad performance? I think it was okay. I think he was okay. It was a lot better than um, the last couple of games he's played. Um, he looked quite vibrant early on, quite bright. Um, I just think that he wasn't really supported much by Aaron Wambasaka. Um, Wambasaka is more of, you know, the defensive type of, of right back, as we know. Um, I just, you know what, first season, you know, we, we need to see what he can do. He scored some decent goals this season. But I think what everyone's sort of gripe with him is, is that he's not taking his man on and getting him into the box. When you look at Saka, what Saka was doing, he was literally pushing Luke Shaw back every single time into our own box where he could be dangerous. And Anthony did a lot of his stuff too far away from the box, opposition box, but it was an okay performance. Title race still on? Look, I don't think we're in a title race. I don't think we're equipped. And I think that's the right thing to say. I don't think we're equipped for a title race at this moment in time. Mathematically, it still can be done. Um, you know, Arsenal still have to play City. All United can hope for is City can take six points off them. Um, and we just need to keep pace and, and get our games. Look, if we get second or third, that is an achievement for Ten Hag. You know, new league, and he's still trying to build. Arsenal are further along in their development anyways, so, yeah. There you go, there you have it, on to the next game.